All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Kerbal Heat Shield mod, which is being made by form user XD the Great. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a very fun new piece of safety equipment for your Kerbals, and that's a personal heat shield. And I really love this mod because I have accidentally on more occasions than I care to admit, accidentally set a Kerbal on EVA while in flight into space. And with this mod, they could possibly survive, hopefully. So let's jump into the vehicle assembly building and have a look at what exactly is that we do get. Now I should mention that to have this working, you do need the Kerbal inventory system. So let's just grab a random uh, command pod here so that we can have the inventory space to put this thing into and simply head down to the thermal category where we have the gold ball inflatable kerbal heat shield and this is a personal heat shield for your kerbo knots to keep them safe and uh yeah it stays on the back and will when it is activated gives you an ablator with 500 to hopefully let your kerbals not fry so let's just pop that right on in there now as you can see it is kind of a uh weird red ball and that is my one i don't want to say complaint about it because it's something that hopefully it will be fixed in the future and can easily be fixed it just needs new texturing it's a weird red ball and it'd be nice to give some sort of uh, perhaps ablator texturing like we have on a standard ablator just to make it look a bit more normal shall we say for the time being though it's just a big red ball that'll keep you from burning up. And that, that's fun. So let's just go right on out to the launch pad and test this thing. And uh, hopefully Jebediah is up for a fun ride as Hubei, he's... Oh, uh, normally he'd die doing this, but... Oh, actually, no, we have Valentina! Huh. I guess I must have saved Jebediah somewhere else when I was testing this earlier. Alright, well let's get her out of the pod, and let's just open up her inventory right away. There we go, and we can just right click on the ball here and equip it. And there we are, we are launched briefly into the air and then kind of uh, stuck in the ground. Now we can get up and walk around with this thing, which is just... <laughs> amusingly awkward uh, I kind of find it funny though we're just in a big ball walking around and that's pretty fun now to show off the actual ablator we're gonna do something crazy we're going to create an orbit that's well only 50,000 up apply and there we are we're already burning up because well, it's a pretty tight orbit there and not smart to do normally. And as you can see, the ablator is heating up and we have lost a couple of points of it there. And normally, our Kerbal would have already been dead. In fact, if we unequip briefly, you can see... And pop, there we go. Without the ablator, we die. And we die horribly. Now let's revert to launch... <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Valentina. This is why I was going to have Jebediah do this part, because it's terrifyingly awful. Okay, there we go. And back to the inventory. Pop on our equipable sphere of safety. And then edit. And once again, go to the 50,000 and apply. And there we go. Once again, burning up. And with the orb in place we will safely come back down to terra firma and then of course with our Kerbal's usual shoot that they can now deploy we can actually safely return to the ground we no longer have to fear the accidental eva of death now we can just have to survive the heated bit then deploy the shoot to slow ourselves down and then hopefully hopefully arrive safely so all in all, a pretty cool little mod that I've definitely been enjoying with this so far. It's just, it's an interesting idea that I haven't seen anyone do before, and thanks to the Kerbal Inventory System, it makes things like this possible. And now you could do things like, uh, 
I don't know, an interesting orbital drop of your Kerbals onto a planet using these. Just, you know, hook an engine to a command seat and launch them out and see what happens. That could be fun. And, of course, the usual safety bit for the accidental EVAs. But, yeah, that's really all there is to talk about with this thing. It's a giant red ball that uh, you can deploy to protect you from re-entry. So if you'd like to check this out for yourself, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that's going to be it for today, my friends. I hope you all have enjoyed. And, of course, you do come back for the next episode when, hopefully... We'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod, but until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one!